this video I am talking about abuse and healing abuse through deep listening. Because it's a difficult subject, I came to do my recording in the nature where I take my strength usually from. This is healing, not just abused, but also the abuser. When we talk about abuse, we mean making somebody do or doing somebody something against their will and their informed consent. Ultimately, all abuse is self-abuse. Usually sexual abuse attracts attention, but there is the abuse of children who are forced to study and succeed in classrooms in order to to do exams uh, and the, the, that damages their emotional and physical development. And this is also abuse that we take for granted. There's the abuse of animal kingdom, plants, and of course the land. We created ourselves a culture, a sick culture, where deprived, disconnected from our soul's wisdom, we seem to be in a hypnotic sleep. We are unable to face and transform our shadow aspects. We don't know how to do it. As a result, we pay a collective price, and abuse is one of them. Deep listening is about listening to the other person with heart and soul. Like you put yourself, your judgments, your value system, everything aside, and you focus on the other person, what they mean, what they say between the lines, with their bodies, with their words, just to understand and ask them again if they want to say more before speaking yourself. In that space opened up by deep listening, then compassion may enter. Compassion that can turn into love for the universe. Compassion that allows us to know ourselves and Compassion that allows to face our shadow aspects and transform them. Only through that we can achieve our natural state, that is joy. I would like to read the last paragraph because I wrote it so well. I don't want to say it with my own words that I remember. Only through this self-knowledge and witnessing for one another we can heal all our abusive and abused aspects of ourselves into impersonal love that is our natural state of joyful existence. Abuse and healing abuse is every one of us' responsibility. Let's not kid ourselves and focus on looking at learning who we are through witnessing one another using this ability to deeply, deeply listen to one another. All knowledge resides within ourselves, but in order to know oneself, as others have all said, knowledge is within, but that knowledge only comes through being able to listen to yourself through the uh, mirror of the other person. Therefore, listening compassionately, openly, without no judgment and without defenses, is how we come to knowledge and healing the world as well as ourselves. If you want to know more about this subject, please go to the link below to read my post. And uh, as usual, please leave a message on either YouTube channel or on the blog post or on Facebook. I look forward to hearing from you. And remember to click subscribe and uh, like button. See you soon. You and your loved ones are significant. To receive regular tips to help you achieve more autonomy, visit my page.